always got the start the day with a groove hello everybody and welcome to we love la where we talk about health wealth and success and everything is all about where we're going you know where are we going in life so let me just turn it down just a tad bit so you can hear me but I do love that tune. Um, the artist that I am playing for this week, it is um, called Blue Six. So this was actually a tune that I heard from my guy and he gets very upset when I steal some of the music that he shared with me, which I love it. And I would like to share with other people too. So i share that information because first and foremost i do not own the rights to the music so instagram and facebook youtube play my video so today it is february the 22nd 2021 if anybody who is into numerology um today is a really good a uh, great manifestation date um 222 so if anybody love to do the numbers hello welcome to we love la um this might be a great manifestation day for you. Hey sis, welcome to We Love LA. So, we're coming down to the last month in our um, in February, or, not, or really the last week in February. And so, February is Black History Month. And then there's also um, so many other things that's happening with the new month. Um, I did hear that today. Um, a lot of the states, they were all lowering their flags halfway to honor the um, passing of those who were um, hit with the pandemic. And so just want to give our condolences and a moment of silence just for a moment in regards to um, those that we had lost in the pandemic. So just a moment of silence. Okay, so just a few moments and so wanted to give respect for those who we had lost. So today, talking about strategies and how does um, strategies have to play in our life. And so what made me think about strategies was um, the whole boycott, um, the boycotting of the bus system. Now I know this is a part of the Black History Month that we all learned about in, in school where um, Rosa Parks, she sat on the front of the bus. She did not want to move. And during this time era, um, time era, that was when segregation was still um, a thing in the South. And so um, they basically had, you know, African-American people had to sit in the back of the bus and then um, white people were privileged to sit in the front of the bus. And so part of the whole boycotting system was a strategy to show that um, a lot of people of color, they use the public transportation to be able to get back and forth. Also, the strategy behind it was to show that um, equal rights and to abolish segregation. So that was the whole strategy that was being used during that time era. Now, why talk about strategies? Well, what made me even think about strategies, um, I was driving down the street uh, one day in LA and I would notice in certain areas there would be um, homeless people in certain areas panhandling. And so I was just like, um, hmm, why? be standing in certain areas. Also, I've noticed that um, the street merchants, they would be located in certain areas. And it made me start thinking like, okay, wait a minute, there is a strategy behind all of this. People, the homeless peoples in the um, street merchants, they would be um, positioned in a place where there was high traffic so if they knew that if it was a high amount of traffic during a certain time of the day this is where they would set up shop this is where people will go and panhandle because they knew that they had an opportunity to be able to make a sale or be able to collect some coins or even some money that falls and so 
it made me start thinking like, wow, everything is a strategy. And when you start thinking about playing games, all game is a strategy. I mean, relationships are a strategy. Your jobs is a strategy. And just having to understand what type of game are you playing? Even when it comes to your money, we have to um, have a strategy to it as well. And so my favorite game is Monopoly. And I, you know, as a kid, I never really thought about Monopoly being a, a game of strategy. It was just like, okay, how many times I can get around the board? How many houses and motels and hotels I can get on the board? And how much money I can make? That was my mindset when it came to playing Monopoly. But now, as an adult, um, I realize that, wait a minute, it's not just about getting around the past goal and collect my 200. Because to me, <laughs> playing Monopoly really started to have me thinking about how does this play in everyday life. And so this is why I love Monopoly. So think of Monopoly as everybody have a fair chance everybody have a fair chance to get through life which we all do we all have a fair chance now we do somewhat you know before when things were segregated there wasn't really a fair chance because of things were separated but within their community everything everybody had a fair chance but let's say now we all have a fair chance and we're all on go whoever rolls the dice whoever has the largest um roll from the dice that's how many moves they can move up. Now, the thing about rolling the dice, there is no strategy on rolling the dice. There is no, I mean, unless some people are like, oh, I can hold it this way. But depending on whatever that roll is, that is going to determine how many moves that you can move ahead. Now, whatever spot that you land on, there's going to be some consequences that goes with that landing. And so... I know on the other side of the board, there is the um, go to jail. And then, of course, when you come back around, once you pass go, then you can collect $200. Now, this was the funny part about it. Once I, like, everybody was so excited. Oh, I'm about to pass go. I'm about to pass go. Collect my $200. you be like, yeah, man, give me my $200. And you'd be like, okay, I know what the $200 represents. <laughs> the $200 to me represent like receiving some government assistance. Nothing wrong with government assistance. But all I'm saying is that when you play a Monopoly and you land on Boardwalk in Park Place after somebody just took all your money and you barely went bankrupt, first thing you're looking forward to is that 200 and you're trying to maintain that 200 while you get around the board and pray that you don't land on park place and boardwalk and so now trying to wait for the government to give you that extra 200 dollars once you pass go but as you're going around the board it always seems as if the 200 dollars just don't last and then once you land on boardwalk and park place all over again boom bankrupt and so you have to understand that there is a strategy now this is another strategy that I see a lot of people fail to do we all start off with the same amount of money in the bank only difference is is that whatever we roll whatever consequences follows up based off of whatever we land on and so I noticed a lot of, I would say about 95% of the population, their mindset is, I am going to buy Park Place and Boardwalk. When they get their first little 200, they come back around, they're trying to get high numbers to roll. They're trying to roll high so they can buy high and bankrupt. Because every time I've played, I've always noticed that they try to buy, they will spend all of their money in the bank. But see, they too busy landing on other people's property they only own one or two property and that's boardwalk and park place but then everybody else owns stuff all around the board they went they went broke buying property that they couldn't afford and now they're trying to go through the neighborhood trying to get back home and they own everybody else and so that's the strategy that i always see about 95 percent of the people fighting to get 
boardwalk and park place and then they go broke before they can make it back home. 5% of the population realize that there is another strategy. As soon as you pass go, there is the hood. And the hood always turn out to be good. <laughs> and those first two properties right past go where everybody like, I don't want that, that's only $100. Yes, but guess what? People land on it all the time. And then once you start gentrifying the neighborhood, you want to clean it up. You buy the little property. People, you know, pay you your little $30 for, you know, paying rent. And then once you done collected so much rent from so many people, now you got enough money to, to build it up and flip it. Put a nice little house over there. And then next, you know, you could flip it, turn it into an Airbnb, put your little hotels on it to where now it's not just a $30 rental. Now it's like $180. So they're a $300 rental. And you buy that first row and then that second row. And next thing you know, the person who only owns Park Place and Boardwalk, they landed on all of your property, owing you money. And next, you know, poof, bankrupt. So... Having a strategy and the games, it is meant to be a strategy on purpose because the whole purpose to life is winning. And if you don't have a strategy on how you can be able to obtain your goals, then you're just out here. What's old boy from over the Chappelle show? He, he's just out here. So the same way how um, we had our freedom fighters, they, you know, went down to help with the boycott. We've had Rosa Parks and, you know, so many people who were um, killed and people who were beaten and jailed due to this boycotting because the strategy was not to just be in a nuisance. The strategy was to win the political game. And that political game was the civil rights. They wanted to win the civil rights to be able to have the equality, to have justice to be served into our country. And without these people who actually had took place and stood for something, because one of my favorite quote, and this is um, from Sugar Free. So if anybody don't know who Sugar Free is, and it's not sugar, it's sugar, Sugar Free, you can look him up. But one of my favorite lines that he said <laughs> And excuse me, you can be a stand-up bitch or a fall-down hoe. Which means if you don't stand for nothing, you will fall for anything. And so, again, we have to have strategies for everything that we do. And so, I wanted to share that little bit of history on um, Black history and the strategies how they used um, the boycotting system for us to be able to have equal rights today. And, you know, a lot of people... We tend to forget about some of what of our um, what some of our past pioneers and people who stood up for something. We tend to forget where we come from. A lot of history is being re rewritten. A lot of history is actually being deleted. And so, continuously reminding where we come from, what we have been through, and where are we going? You know, everything always repeat history always repeat and so it may not be the same extent but it may not, and it may not be in the african community it could be in a whole nother nationality uh, a group of people just um recently a few months back we had issues with um armenia and you know they had lost a lot of lives out there for a war that a lot of the people think that was useless. And so, you know, that's history right there. Also, we've had the Vietnam War where a lot of people thought that that was a useless war. And I mean, of course, when we had, um, what was that, um, war on Iraq and looking for weapons of mass destruction, like a lot of these things you know, it's just history repeating itself all over again. And, you know, even with the boycotting of the public transportations and things like that, we just had a big boycotting and a big protest just last year summer for Black Lives Matter. And so again, it is still the same things. It's just a different era. 
different people but it's still that it's a broken system and we all have to come together and figure out a positive strategy for us to be able to get to the next level and so I wanted to share um, that bit of information also in regards to Black History Month um, for the past present and future I will be hosting an event this Thursday at 6 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time I will be um, talking about some past pioneers of our African-American history, some of our present um, performers who are out here in today's time making impacts in our community and on our, in our world, and talking about some of the future things on how we can continue to excel. And so I would love for you all to come and be a part of the past, present, and the future for this Black History Month. Again, that will be this coming Thursday at 6.30 Pacific Standard Time in the evening. And so with the Zoom, um, the Zoom information, I will post on my feed or I will post it to this um, feed here where you can be able to tune in. This is a free event. And this is all about where do we come from? What are we doing and how are we going to succeed? And so making sure that we have these type of strategies implemented in our lives. Strategies not just on how to make more money or how to be able to get by, but actual strong foundation strategies on how you can be your best you. And so thank you very much for tuning in tonight for we love la again my name is sheena i am your host i am your life concierge if you do love the content that i am sharing tonight or in, or any of my past content please pop, pop, double tap on my video follow me at we love la and also subscribe to my youtube channel at where are we going now she now you're probably wondering why did you call it that well again like i had mentioned the monopoly board everything in life is in is moving we're constantly moving everything is a flow if we're not moving we're stagnant and so whether we're physically going somewhere if we're mentally going somewhere what next level are we are excelling then that is where we're going and so i just share with the world on how we can be our best and reach our next level and also you know giving back to those who give to us because when we go out into the world and we provide value then value will come back when you do from your heart your pockets will fill and so just wanted to say thank you very much thank you sis for the love can't wait to see you miss you so much i still have your candy so <laughs> i have to meet with you pretty soon to um give you that but yes thank you very much for your time this evening and um blessings to the universe and have a good evening and we're gonna jam just a little bit more <laughs> <laughs>